Hi everyone, my name is Shabraj Rakra, and I am the scientist wannabe. Welcome to part 2 of 10 scientific discoveries and inventions of the Renaissance. Number 6. The Copernican Heliocentric Model The Copernican Heliocentric Model was published in 1543 by Nicholas Copernicus. It was a model of the universe that proposed the sun was stationary at the center of the universe, and all the other planets including the earth orbited around the sun. This theory was heavily rejected by the Catholic Church at the time, however the theory was later succeeded by other scientists and it was eventually proven to be true. Number 7. The Invention of the Barometer A barometer is an instrument that measures atmospheric pressure. The inventor of the barometer was mathematician and physicist Evangelista Torricelli. It was Galileo who suggested Torricelli to use mercury in Torricelli's vacuum experiments at the time. Torricelli filled a 4 foot long glass tube with mercury and he inverted the glass tube to spill the mercury into a dish. Some of the mercury did not escape from the glass tube and Torricelli observed that vacuum that was created. Torricelli realized that the amount of mercury left over changed from day to day and he realized that the change was because of the atmospheric pressure change. Torricelli built the first mercury barometer around the year 1644. Number 8. The First Lead Pencil The story of the lead pencil started when a marking substance was discovered in England. The substance at the time in the early 16th century was described to be a dark lead hence the current name that is stuck as a lead pencil. This marking substance was actually a form of pure carbon called graphite, however this was unknown at the time. It was invented by Swiss naturalist Conrad Gessner and it was described to be a thin rod of lead set inside of a wooden holder. The first documented use of the lead pencil was in 1565. Number 9. Earth is a giant magnet. The Earth was described to be a giant magnet by English physician William Gilbert in the year 1600 in his published paper, De Magnet, or in English, The Magnet. Gilbert was also the person who invented the term electricity. In his paper, Gilbert explained the difference between magnetism and static. He compared magnetic polarity to the Earth's polarity by using a perfectly spherical lodestone. When this stone is aligned with the Earth's poles, its spin would be similar to how the Earth spins over a 24 hour span. He believed that magnetism was the soul of the Earth. Number 10. The Development of the Scientific Method Although this discovery was not in the Renaissance, it was what eventually led up to the Renaissance. Roger Bacon, yes, his last name is named after a piece of meat. Now onwards we go. He was the first scholar who was credited with using reason and explanation in his work. Reason and explanation is the basis of the modern day scientific method. It is approximated that Roger Bacon used a scientific method in the year 1265. I hope you all enjoyed part 2 of this video. Please give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel. Tune in on July 1st, 2017 for a new video. And remember, everything is science.